Hello everyone, welcome to our Joe Special Techno channel. In the previous session, we examined the value comparison operators such as properties like, properties null, and properties between operators. In this session, we will explore the special operators in detail. For more information, watch the rest of this video. Joe Server supports various special operators that filter Joe special data based on the location or special relationships with other features. These operators are commonly used with other filter expressions to create complex queries. These queries are useful for extracting a specific subset of data from a larger dataset. The special operators are topological, distance, and bounding box operators. We will explain them in more detail below. Topological operators. In Joe Server, topological operators are used for special analysis and processing of geographic data. These operators perform geometric operations that preserve the special relationship or topology between geometric features. Some common topological operators in Joe Server include intersects, within, contain, and etc. Intersects The intersects filter in Joe Server is used to query special data based on the intersection of two geometry objects. For example, you can use this operator to extract all features that intersect with a polygon that represents a national park boundary. Here is an example of using it in a WFS get feature request. Navigate to the demos page, then select demo requests. From the request section, select the WFS underline get feature intersects 1.0.xml request. The address will be filled in automatically in the URL section. Now let's edit the codes as you see on the screen. Click on the Submit button. In this example, we are querying the top column states layer and filtering for features whose geometry intersects with a point defined by latitude and longitude. The property name element specifies the name of the property that contains the geometry we want to filter on, in this case the geom. The GML column point element specifies the point geometry we want to use for filtering. The SRS name attribute specifies the special reference system of the geometry. Here is EPSG column 4326. Within. The operator is used to retrieve features that are completely within the specified geometry. For example, you can use this operator to extract all features that are within a polygon that represent the national park boundary. Here is an example of how you can define a within filter in XML. Click on the Submit button. The polygon coordinates are listed in the coordinates element, which each coordinate pair is separated by a space and enclosed in commas. The results includes two states named Alabama and Georgia. Contains. This operator is used to filter data that is completely contained within a given geometry. For example, you can use this operator to extract all features that are completely contained within a polygon that represents state boundary. Here is an example of how you can define a contains operator in XML.
Click on the submit button. The state that contains the given geometry is Mississippi. You will need to adjust the filter and shape to match your data and SRS. Assuming you have a data source with a geometric column named the underline geom that uses the EPSG column 3326 coordinate system. If you are enjoying the video, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, like the videos and share it with your friends. This will help you and others to improve your skills and benefit from these valuable resources. Thank you for your support. Distance operators. In Java server, distance operators like VVTIN and Beyond filters are used to filter and retrieve features based on their special relationship and proximity to a given geometry or location. These operators can be used in WFS requests and are useful for performing special analysis and finding nearby features. Here are some examples of distance operators in Java server. DVTIN. The DVThin or Distance Within filter will return records that are located within a specific distance of a defined point, much like a buffer. As well as the point geometry, you must specify the value of the distance from this point and the unit of measure. The units for the DVThin are feet, meters, kilometers, and miles. Here is an example of how to use the DVThin filter in a Joe Server XML configuration file. To find all the features that are within 10,000 meters of a given point in the layer called SF colon arc sites, the following WFS request can be used. Click on the Submit button. This will return all the features in SF Colon Arc Sites layer that are within 10,000 meters of a given point. Remember that the EPSG code mentioned in line 12 is very important because it serves as a reference point for importing coordinates and distance values. Beyond. The Beyond filter in WFS is the complete opposite of the previous filter called DVT. In other words, this filter allows you to perform special queries to find features that are outside or beyond a specified geometry. Its syntax is similar to DVT, but the distance value is used as the minimum distance threshold instead. Here is an example of using the Beyond operators in Joe server with an XML request. Let's say you have a layer named SF colon arc sites in Joe server and you want to retrieve all features that are beyond 10,000 meters of a given point. The XML request would look like this. Click on the submit button. Bounding box operator. The bounding box operator is used to filter data based on a specified bounding box. A bounding box is a rectangular region defined by its lower left and upper right coordinates, min x, min y, max x, and max y. For example, you can use this operator to extract all features that are located or partially located inside the box of coordinates. Here is an example of how you can use it with an XML request. Select the WFS underline get feature bbox 1.0.xml from the request section. Now let's edit it as you see on the screen. Click the submit button. In this case, we just get the state on the line name and person's attribute. 
Using the range specified in the code to specify the features that are completely or partially located in this area. The result includes four states named New York, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, and New Jersey as you see on the screen. In this session, we examine the special operators in detail. If you would like to gain proficiency in GeoServer software from beginner to advanced without any cost, please subscribe to my channel, watch the videos, and share them with your friends. Also, if you would like to know more information about the comparison operators in GeoServer, we recommend you to watch the suggested videos. Have a great time!